Hello guys, welcome back to another vlog. And so for today's video, we will be talking about this auxiliary boiler. We are about to arrive in the port when we had issues with our auxiliary boiler. So how important for us to fix this auxiliary boiler as soon as possible during this maneuvering. So come and join me in this new learning. So our auxiliary boiler is a fuel-fired combustion equipment. It is designed primarily for supplying steam for heating fuel oil, lube oil, generating fresh water to drink with the help of distillation. Since the vessel is using bunker as a fuel, it is very critical to maintain the required viscosity of this fuel to keep our main engine running. That is why it is very critical for us as an electrician to fix this kind of trouble whenever needed. Otherwise, the vessel needs to change over the fuel to the diesel oil. So now, let's analyze the situation that we're having on our auxiliary boiler. At first, the boiler is not firing and having this flame eye abnormal. So we open the burner and check for its condition. We took a little bit of cleaning onto the area where we put it and then we also check the nozzles of our burner. To be sure, we put it into our workshop. We check the electrode and then we open the atomizer to ensure that they are not clogged. After removing the cup and clean them, we also did a blow through to the line to ensure that there is no fuel residue onto our whole line. By the way, it is the third engineer's job and responsibility to maintain this auxiliary boiler. But we as an electrician, it is also our responsibility to assist them especially if the trouble is coming from the electrical side and after putting it back we tried again the boiler to fire in automatic operation and after testing this is what happened as you can see the damper is operating well and we just need for the boiler to fire after the initial sequence, we can see that the electrode is doing its job and the flame eye as well. But unfortunately, the solenoid for the fuel oil supply is not opening and we are having this alarm. Fuel oil pressure low. So I went to the board and checked our wiring diagram. And this is the solenoid valve for high side which we need to open and and checking on it we need we will go to the other page and this is the wiring diagram this is the solenoid valve for high side which this is the coil and then this is the damper to open which we found out that is it is really operating and this 7mx relay so we need to check if this 7mx relay is really activating so we also need to check if this 21 qsx relay is activating and in order for us to do that we need to fire again the boiler and see if these are really operating well and these are the actual relays the 21 qsx and the 7mx and as you can see one of the 21 QSX cover is already broken. So we need to change this relay first. And then after changing the relay, we will again fire the boiler and see if the indications for these relays will be activating and 
for us to ensure that we do not have problem on the electrical side. As you can see, during testing, these 21 QSX relays are activating as intended. But unfortunately, this fuel oil low pressure alarm is already activating. Hence, it is tripping or it is not completing the sequence. After analyzing the situation, I have decided to stop the boiler and then we will check this pressure switch for the FO pressure alarm. Going back to our wiring diagram, this is the flow of the system. So this is the pressure switch which will be activated whenever we do not have pressure on to the line and this is sensing the fuel flow from our fuel oil pump so this is the motor and this will be the line going through our burner so this is the solenoid for the high side which we want to activate but before this solenoid will be activated the alarm is already there so we will check the condition of this pressure switch if it is in open or closed position and this pressure switch onto our wiring diagram is this fo pressure low so the burner will trip just before the solenoid will open and we will check this h3 and op terminals if this one is open so this is the terminal block for this h3 and op and then we just need to measure the resistance or the continuity of this one if it is in open or closed position and measuring it we found out that this is in open position that is why the burner is or the boiler is tripping just before this solenoid will be activated i asked the engineers if they can clean the filters for our fuel oil system and after cleaning we again tested the boiler if this pressure switch will be reset and if this solenoid will be open unfortunately we're having the same alarm and the pressure switch is not closing and so i have checked the condition of this pressure switch and i cannot see any problem on it and then i have decided to tell the engineer to dismantle the fuel oil pump and check the condition of it good thing that we have a spare pump and checking the old pump it is already in bad shape so we just install the new pump and check what will happen after that this kind of trouble will really get you pressured but as a piece of advice always go back to the basic principles and basic fundamentals of checking the line or wiring diagram so that it will not affect your critical judgment and troubleshooting method and so after changing the pump then we tested again the boiler it is also imperative that you should know the correct operation of this boiler the piping diagram of each fuel line so that you will not get lost whenever you are checking the sequence what are the interlocks incorporated to the system that will trip the boiler when there is an abnormality you need to also have a proper understanding about the basic operation of this boiler and after testing as you can see the solenoid really opened and the boiler continuously run without any tripping alarm so that's it guys i hope you learned something from this video and this is your lucky jake and see you